everyone welcome back to our channel today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do this like kind of like maroon smoky eye look I'm out to a club tonight and it's for my cousin's 18th birthday so I wanted to do something like not too heavy something that's like really dramatic for this look I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills modern renaissance palette so here is my burgundy look but so if you're interested in how I did this and created this make sure to tune in and watch the rest of the video thank you so first we're starting with the smashbox primer water and spraying that all over our face and then next we're going to go in with the NYX pore filler primer and we're going to focus that on our t-zone and use the rest of the product we have left over and just smear it all over our face next we're using the smashbox 24 hour shadow primer and putting that all over our eyelids to create the base for our eyeshadow for the look we're doing today, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette and I'm going to use this nice, dense, fluffy brush to put on the base of the eyeshadow. This is going to act as our base shade, so we need to make sure you put it all over the eye, that way the rest of our colors can transition nicely. So next we're take this nice fluffy angled brush and our transition shade. We're going to work our way in from our outer V using Winter Wiper Motions. We want to make sure most of the product is in our outer V and lightly dust the rest of the product on the inner corner of our eyelids. Taking the ELF Studio Blending Brush, we're going to apply this nice dark brown shade in our crease just to deepen our crease a little bit make our eyes look a lot wider. Picking up that fluffy angled brush one more time and we're going to get this nice bright red and focus that on the outer corner of our eye. Be careful because this eyeshadow is very pigmented as you can see, but it's okay because you can always blend it out and work with it. Using the e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush, we're going to put that directly on our lid with this nice shimmery shade here. Taking any fluffy ending brush, we're going to get this nice dark red color here. And we're going to apply that at the end of our eye, blending the shimmery shade and the darker, brighter red shade together just to get a more smoky effect. So next I'm going to be mixing these two foundations together and I'm going to be using a damp Real Techniques beauty sponge to put that coverage all over my face. Using my all time favorite concealer I'm going to apply that under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, on my chin and also on my forehead. And we're going to be using the same Real Techniques blending sponge to blend it all out into our skin. Now we're going to be picking up our Airspun Loose Translucent Powder and applying that with a Real Techniques sponge wherever we applied our concealer. So under our eyes, on the bridge of our nose, on our forehead, and as well as our chin. let the rest of that powder sit on our face so it can bake. Next we're going to be using our Cheekathon palette and we're going to pick up the shade Dallas with a blush brush actually and hit that under our cheekbones and on the temples of our forehead. 
our Lorac Pro Contour Palette and a contour brush, we're going to apply that under our cheekbones and blend it out with the same blush brush we used to apply our bronzer. Now that we're done baking, we're just going to brush the rest of this powder off. Now we're going to highlight the top of our cheekbones and of course our nose with Becca in the shade Opal. Picking up a smudge brush, we're going to go right under the bottom waterline of our eyes just to create a more dramatic and smoky effect. And then we're going to go back with our Kat Von D Tattoo Ink Liner and we're going to just apply our wings the way we usually apply our wings. This next step is completely up to you. I'm just going to take away some oiliness with this powder I'm using. And then we're going to pick up the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara and apply that on our eyelashes in a nice light coat. This step is also completely optional. You can apply ice if you want to, but since we are going out at night, I want my eyes to look as dramatic as possible, so I'm applying these really exaggerated eyelashes. And of course, setting our face for the night with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Now I'm applying this liquid lipstick to my lips. I would prefer liquid lipstick when we're going out at night just because liquid lipsticks do tend to stay on more than any average normal lipstick. And that is my completed look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe this video if you like it. Leave any comments for any future videos you would like me or Brenda to work on. Thank you. <laughs> no, she's right. No, she's right. I'm right. Like, honestly, I should just wear the drop dead red one. Okay, you cannot tell me why highlight is not popping in this frame. Look at that. I'm like blinding you. Shout out to editing. Cause... <laughs>